Hey guys, uh, this video is on the Teenage Engineering OPZ Z, because I'm in England. Um, I'm utterly astounded by this unit. There's very mixed feelings about it online. I understand how difficult it is to dive into, but I feel like it was designed for me. So I adore it. It took me a good while to get into it, and at first I was extremely frustrated and were like, I can't. But if you take your time, and I'm going to help you with this, this is now March 2022, and they've done a, a tremendous amount of updates on this device. Uh, so I would suggest you go to the Teenage Engineering site and download the firmware, the latest one. It has full instructions on how to do it, and there's other videos on YouTube on how to do that. So, starting now. We're going to create a song because it's very easy to make some bleeps and bloops and a sequence. But how do we do a song on this device? I've recently played a full gig with this and just a guitar. So I've kind of figured it out. So I'm going to go through this slowly and we're going to create a short track. But in further videos in this series, I'm going to go into everything. Because there's a lot of hidden stuff that isn't even published. And I've had to do some things by ear and work other things out. So, let's dive in. So, this button is called Track. If you press and hold that, you can select one of these tracks. So, the pictures demonstrate what they represent. So, this is a kick drum. When I'm holding Track and click on Kick Drum, we've now got all these different kick drums. All the ones that are filled in. These are spare slots that we can add other ones to either via USB or by sampling through the microphone. Which I will go into at a later date. So there's some built in and then there's some I've put in myself. So the ones I've put in myself is like a techno kit from Surgeon really dirty but we'll stick with the standard one so you have got the same kit as me so to start we press and hold p for project and select a project select project one to delete this entirely you press and hold project shift and stop the light yellow lights go across and it's completely cleared now it will start with a click drag so we'll stop that and if we press and hold shit, oh sorry, if we press and hold our little tick tock tick metronome sign, we can turn down the volume on the click track. I don't want the click track, we'll just use the lights. So there we go. And we can also change the BPM either by pressing and holding and turning this dial or typing one in. So we'll go for 80. See what I did there? Press and hold, type in 80. It's now running at 80 BPM. So we select a kick drum, whichever one we select last is going to be the one we can lay in the sequence. So we'll just do a classic four on the floor-ish. Now there's another way to do this. You can stop it and leave it going and if you press and hold record you can put it in all swinging. So it's basically a tape recorder when you're pressing and holding record, which is how I use it most because it makes it more unique and not stuck to the grip. Now you can quantize that by pressing and holding that and turning the yellow dial. Press and hold track, turn yellow. And now it's stuck it on the lines. I don't want to do that. I'm just showing you how you do it. So we'll go to snares. And we'll select. We'll select a snare pack. I like that one, so we'll stick a couple of snares in. So we've got a basic beat going now, we'll go to hi-hats and find a hi-hat. there you go you've got a basic beat going now this is only a short pattern it's just going through 16 steps so when we get to our bass track 
pick and select one you like. In the synth tracks, you also get four different presets for each one. So it's incredible, really. I mean, you've got 10 basses with four different presets in each for 40 different sounds. So I like 3-3. Three, three. Now, if we want this to go longer than this sequence, because we're a bit stuck there, this is key this. You press and hold track and you press and hold shift and one is lit up. Now, if we change that to two, you're gonna see it's pulsing twice on every step now. If we change that to four, yep, four on every step. If we change it to eight, you get eight on every step. So now I can put in a quite complex bass line just with that beat underneath. So if we press and hold record, So there you go, you've got a nice bass line going, we're just sticking to basics, we'll do a track at a time. So we'll press stop so we can hear, we'll select our lead track, which is the single. That's number four, it's selected. Now this is some piano sounds that I've put in myself via sampler, I'll go on to explain that later, but we'll just choose this nice sample piano. On op1.fun, I found this, and you literally just put it in via the USB wire. I, I can show you that, but there is other videos, so we'll start it going. We want it to be longer though. Track. We'll press stop so we can hear them. I put in some lo-fi tape tracks. So the best way I could suggest you do this is download some WAV files at any sound that you want. And then on Steve Duda, who made Serum, X for Records, Google that. And there's Op1 Drum uh it makes the drum sequences. So all you do is drop the WAVs in that and press export to AIFF and it makes the correct format then for this and you can just put them down the USB wire from the computer into the correct folder. Like I said, there's videos on that, I can show that. So we'll use this lo-fi sample. In fact, this one we'll put at four, four per step, pressing an hold and record. So we've got as basic tracks in there. So now what we can do is we can go to each of these tracks and then edit modulations in them. So to change the kick drum, we would go to this and we can change the pitch of the kick drum. So by ear, have a listen, try and get it in key. Same for the snare drum. So, these 
white ones, the white LEDs represent for each track, you can change filter and resonance as well as the pitch change. So what we can do is we could go to say that synth sounded track. And that's changing the filter, that's changing resonance. So you can hear it now. So you can find a nice place that you like. And then the effects track is yellow. So how I remember this was like suns. So as the sun gets brighter, it's giving you more effect. This one's delay and this one's reverb. So we'll go to his lead piano sound and we'll go to yellow. See, we haven't got any there, sunset. So we'll make the sun rise a little. You can hear the delay, a little reverb. We'll go to that chord track, which was the lo-fi synth. This one is volume on each track, which is hugely important. That lo-fi synth was a little loud, so we can turn it down and just by going like that. And this is pan, green is the middle, left is left and right is right. So we'll put that synth track over to the right. We'll go back to his lead track, go through to yellow, and we'll put the lead track piano over to the left. We'll move our hi-hat slightly to where it would be. So back through to yellow, you see it went past middle to left a bit. Uh, I think the others will be okay, so we'll have a listen to that. So, to put any vocals in it, if you tilt your op Z unit, you will see the microphone light up and then these buttons become active. The third one down corresponds to the effects track. So, when you're tilted, you can click like that and one is the delay, two is the reverb and three is both of them. And to turn up the microphone level, you see the green LED, so we'll turn it up, check. And then you press and hold record, check, 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 check. check. So now we can actually sing over this song. <laughs> a simple idea if we press and hold program you can see we've only got one lit up we actually can use all of these so if I now click to program 2 that's empty so we could actually make a chorus so we'll go to we'll just make some random stuff up in for those so it cycles through a bit faster piano we'll keep that really simple for the chorus really basic chorus so now if we press and hold program and play we can link these so we'll do two of them and two of them so 
so this is showing if we press and hold program it's showing where we're cycling through on that first one which we'll call burst Back to the verse. Now the transition weren't very smooth because this is just a demonstration. But you can see now the possibilities of this. It will again cycle through the first two. However we program it, we can now just go back to putting in loads of the first one, as many as we want. And now also, this track is effects. And now all the piano keys. So that's got the sims. That's got the drums. So you can again live edit and they will work. Gone away. So you can live edit, like I say, even while using the microphone. And then my favourite of all tape track so a vital thing on tape track which I haven't seen anywhere else when you're on tape track you want some dry sound coming through or when you do tape stops the track stops so we press and hold track and we turn red which gives us our dry sound and now a little bit quieter we can play on top of it and pressing these keys and turning this gives us tape speed spin. We can also change the length of this track, the tape track, and the effects track. And then we can punch in effects. Press and hold record. That'll be in every time it cycles round that now. Get rid of the drums for a little tiny bit. We'll go back to his tape track and we'll add in and record some tape effects. We can even add effects to them so we can go into tape track again, sunset. It's added effects to the tape now on its own. We'll go back to his mixing, uh, not, sorry not mixing, his uh, effects track. It's unreal. down that's super cool it's made the piano go really weird because it was a sample which is even cooler Dust up the sky. Stay 
tuned for more videos. Yeah.